Welcome to Bariatric Business Accelerator, the podcast created for busy weight loss practitioners and their teams who want to systematize, simplify, and accelerate the growth of their new or established weight loss practice. I've been spending a lot of time over the past few months, and now included, it's never too late, doing a lot of planning for the new year and just for the next quarter. Because a lot of times, obviously, we are looking towards what's gonna happen through the year and we break it down into smaller increments so that we have urgency now to be accomplishing what we need to now in order to meet those annual goals. So a lot of the goals that we're setting or that people are setting in their practices involves some big change. It could involve some team changes if that's your main focus. It could involve some additional programming that you're bringing into your practice. It could be revamping your financial system and maybe you haven't done a lot of budgeting before or tracking or key performance indicators. It could be a whole new marketing plan. It could be integration of AI. There's lots of initiatives that are going on out there. But my point today is that as you get going with this, you are obviously going to have some a little bit of trepidation sometimes or a, a lot of excitement. People are excited about change. They're excited about getting a, a bigger vision, understanding what the vision is for the practice and what the exact steps are to make that happen. People want to be a part of that. They want to know the state of the union, so to speak, what the vision is, what the goals are, and then how are we going to make that happen? It is not pie in the sky things uh, that's out there. It's something that has to happen, as you know, in every practice. So if you are making these plans, I want to give you a couple of tips in terms of keeping the momentum going. Because you're gonna to get to a point, no matter how excited you are, no matter how inspired you are by your goals, where people are going to want to backslide into comfort because change is uncomfortable. And it's something that really can uh, exhaust you. It can be frustrating. You can have some people that are on board and are moving along with the new goals that you're setting and other people who really are not and may even even knowingly or unknowingly be sabotaging it. It could be you as the bottleneck. You've put some new processes into place, but everything needs to go through you. So I want you to really be cognizant of that. And in order to keep momentum going, you've got to make sure that you're continuing to monitor it, that you are aware and you're open to people sharing some of their concerns that you're actually having more frequent conversations with your team about, okay, here's our plan. What worked really well last week? What are our goals this week? Did we meet our goals last week? What are our goals this week? And how can I best support you? Because you understand that this is hard. Change is hard. So we want to make sure that this messy middle, so to speak, there's entire books written about it, but you get excited and then you kind of start to go downhill as maybe you backslide a bit and then you've got to really pick yourself up, make a few changes if necessary, and then keep that momentum going. One of the best ways to keep momentum going is open conversation, number one. And the second thing is measurement because what you measure happens. So if you set a big goal and then you break it into smaller goals and you set it into weekly key performance indicators for people on your team or for your overall practice, you've got to be monitoring that and then sharing that back with the team because that is what's going to keep the motivation going. Just like with your patients, when they're measuring their weight loss or they're seeing they're at a plateau or if they're seeing that they're starting to regain, we need to make sure that um, they have the tools at hand to get back on track, continue to lose weight, figure out what the barriers are to their success, and then help them overcome that. You've got to do the same thing for your team. And team members, you've got to be an active participant in this. It's not a matter of they're telling me to do this. They're making me do this. Get your ideas out there. Share unique ways to help accomplish the goals that the practice has set. Participate in the metric monitoring and um, show your support for the goals. Together, you can make it happen. Like I say, you'll start out, you'll go down into this messy middle, it'll start to pick up and you want to keep that momentum moving forward. So anyhow, as we're all implementing things every new year, maybe it is, or each quarter, or as we review things each month, these are things that will end up holding us back or preventing true progress uh, and keeping you stuck right where you are right now. So keep uh, uh, that cognizant in your mind. Make sure you are measuring and that you're having open communication with your team. And if you need outside help, sometimes a fresh perspective is one of the best things. Uh, you can be kind of on a, a treadmill 
and you're not going any farther because you you need a little bit of outside assistance. So anyhow, utilize your experts that you have. If you don't have any, feel free to reach out. Um, I'm always happy to lend uh, uh, a professional opinion as I work with different practices across the U.S. Uh, and help you to uh, exceed or at least meet your goals. So in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Reach out to me, Carol, K-A-R-O-L at weightlosspracticebuilder.com. If you're not a member of Bariatric Business Accelerator, please uh, go ahead and look that up, bariatricbusinessaccelerator.com and join. And we've got lots of really exciting things going on in there. Trainings every week, social media calendars, graphics, recipes you can use, e-newsletters to send out every week to your patients. Lots of uh, resources in there and also lots of pre-recordings in terms of training. So anyhow, I also meet with all the members at least uh, once a month. So that's uh, an added benefit for both of us. So in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Take care.